Fez here from Crypto Setups. Welcome to the first intro series. In this series, I'm going to introduce you to blockchains, protocols, and sometimes actually give you an overview of a blockchain and some of the basic protocols you can use on there to get started. Today's episode, the first one of its kind, is different. I'm going to introduce you to Aurora. Now, for you to understand what Aurora is, I need to tell you about Nier. So let's jump into that. Nier is a blockchain. It's a proof of stake sharded blockchain that people can build on, a layer one chain. Now, it is very cheap, under one cent per transaction. It is extremely scalable due to its sharding technology. And finally, its onboarding experience for a user to set up a wallet and things like that is seamless. It's fantastic. They nailed it all with Nier. So what's Aurora about? Now, Nier unfortunately does not have EVM compatibility, which is Ethereum Virtual Machine. Now we know majority of blockchains need this to lure devs that are currently building on Ethereum or other layer one chains that are EVM compatible. Near to do this, built Aurora. Now Aurora isn't a side chain, a layer one chain, a layer two chain for that matter. Aurora is an EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine implemented as a smart contract on Nier. So in the background, it's getting its security for Nier. Its transaction fees are as cheap as running dApps natively on Nier. And finally, what's cool about it is it is solidity based. So people who are building on Ethereum or any of those chains can essentially deploy their dApp on Aurora on the smart contract. Aurora is connected to Ethereum via a trustless bridge called Rainbow Bridge. That, that's the core of it and that's what's got me excited. Finally, the Aurora Plus service that it's implemented. A user doesn't want to keep worrying about fees, transaction fees and things like that. People want to come in and use the apps on the blockchain without any of that worry. Click, click, done, move on. So Aurora at the moment has implemented uh, 50 transactions a month. I know, hardly enough. However, what a great start because by setting up your Aurora wallet and setting it up to Aurora Plus, you don't even need a little bit of ETH to get started. You've got 50 transactions and off you go exploring some of the dApps that are in the Aurora ecosystem. Overall, this is a unique way they have implemented a EVM solution on a chain that does not have EVM compatibility. And that's what I loved about this setup. The other cool little things about Aurora is it does have a native token that isn't used for fees. The site elaborates on what the Aurora token's about. Make sure you check it out. You do get some great yield by actually staking Aurora at the moment. Uh, on Aurora Plus, it's got this cool dashboard as you can see what I'm showing you right now. So make sure if there's anything, you, you take a look at the tokenomics, you take a look at everyone building on Aurora, that take a look from a dev perspective, all the tools that are available, they're exactly the same as what's available on Ethereum. So what a great place to get started. And if you're a user, it is great because you don't need anything. You literally set up your Aurora wallet, sign up to Aurora Plus and off you go. As always, if there's anything you want me to cover or you do like this intro series, like, share, subscribe, and let me know what else you'd like to cover and certain topics you want me to cover. And I'll try my best to take that on board and make my next video. Thanks for watching everyone.